We've been talking about tens and ones in this chapter. Now we're going to understand tens and ones a little more. This is lesson 6.3. We can use different ways to write a number as tens and ones. We have 12. 12 is one ten and two ones. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine are one digit numbers. There's just one digit to those numbers. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and so on, as we count bigger, are two digit numbers. These are one digit numbers. There's only one digit here. These are two digit numbers. There's a digit and there's a digit. So these are two digit numbers. 12 has two digits. It has a 10 and two ones. There's one ten and two ones. It's two digits. Two place values. Twelve is also the same as twelve ones. We can say it's one ten. We have a bar of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whenever you see this, that's a bar of ten. We have two ones. So 12 is a 10 and two ones, or we can say it's 10 ones and two ones. That makes 12 ones, 10, 11, 12. Just like 10 plus two is equal to 12, see? 14 is one 10 and four ones. It's also 10 ones and four ones, so it's 14 ones in all. Just like 10 plus four is equal to 14. We have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And we can write 14 in three different ways. Here we have a 10 and four ones, we can say it's one ten and four ones. We could say it's a ten plus a four. We could say it's fourteen. We have a one in the tens place, a four in the ones place. We have fourteen. We can write eleven in three different ways. Here we have a ten and a one. We have one ten plus one one. It's a ten plus one. It's eleven. There's a one in the tens place and a one in the ones place. Here we have a 10 frame, and it's full, so we have a 10, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six ones. We could write this as one 10 and plus six ones, 10 plus six, or we can write it as 16. That's three different ways. One way, two ways, three ways. Here we have a full 10 frame, so that's 10, and we have three ones. One 10 plus three ones. 10 plus three, that's 13. 10, 11, 12, 13. We can draw counters to show the number and write the number three different ways. Bob has one ten and five ones. Tala has three ones. They put their tens and ones together. What number did they make? So let's put Bob's here and we'll draw the counters. He has one ten, so we need to fill this ten frame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the ten frame is full. He has one ten, here that is, but he also has five ones. So let's put five ones. One, two, three, four, five. So that's Bob's, and Tala has three ones, so we need to add hers. One, two, three. So what number did they make? There's one ten, and how many ones? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a 10 plus an 8, isn't it? That's 18. We have a 1 in the 10's place and an 8 in the 1's place. They made 18. We can show a number in different ways. Emma has 8 1's, Tala has 5 1's. They put all their 1's together. What number did they make? So we can even do more than three ways. We can make many different ways. There's eight ones and five ones. So we have an eight plus a five. We can put Emma's eight ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Tala has five ones. Let's give her triangles. One, two, three, four, five. So how many tens are there? We filled the ten frame. So there's one ten. And how many ones? One, two, three. Three ones. That means there's a ten and a three. That means we have ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. See all the different ways that we could do it? Our next lesson is make 10 and 1s. We're going to keep learning about 10s and 1s, and that's lesson 6.4. Keep trying. I'm proud of you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.